Hey guys, Crow here, and I'm sure those of you who have upgraded to Windows 8 know what this looks like. And I'm sure you all hate it, because it does look pretty boring and unuseful. Well, fear not, because this little thingy is back. Believe it or not, it is called the Start is Back. And I don't know how I minimize that. Now you can find it at start, there we go, startisback.com. It's very cheap, actually. Where is it? Buy? It's only three dollars for two PCs. You could sell it to somebody for probably like three dollars. And they'll like die for it. So you can pretty much make your money back. And it's really useful. It brings that my computer is now Windows 7. Like this thing that I see pop up here, you can remove it. Then you are see, uh, switches. Searching, I believe. There we go. Just take that off, that off, that off. Apply. Bam. That's gone. Nothing. I, and this is here. How do I solve that? Let's see. When I press Windows key, start menu. Apply. Bam. Solved. But you can still keep the other thing by changing that to control. Start screen. And hold control down. Click it. Bam. You have this in case you want to have this here. I personally like this here as the main Windows button being that I uh, never really use the Windows button for this. I just go ahead and click over here because I'm usually going to click something else over here. So, it's not as much use to me to use that. But, having this available, it's pretty neat, being that I can put my games here, game services, and I'm going to reorganize everything later. I just installed this. But, it's pretty neat for an extra stuff, because I usually have all the stuff over here. The game section, you'll see it, like, all over here. It's crazy. It extends over here sometimes. And I have to delete games to make it look all, like, neat and stuff. Because these are like non-Steam games, Steam games I don't have on my desktop. But, if you're the person that doesn't like having cluttered desktop, this is really useful. Now, the main reason why I installed Windows 8 is because of Battlefield 4 Beta. It works terribly in Windows 7. Even with my BC computer, I got so many stutters and I kept over 40 FPS, it was pretty terrible. I'll make sure to make another video on Battlefield 4 and like if it if it's worth it upgrading to Windows 8 because it definitely is. So I really want to spread the word about that. But I personally like having this stuff enabled. Actually, maybe not that. Yeah, I take that off. But uh, I like this set. No, whoop, there we go. You can start desktop. So when you start your computer, it'll go right to desktop rather than then this screen. Uh, I'll change to start this here, this here. That's how I like it, so this is more useful for me than using the button to open this and do right there. But you could still, of course, open it by holding control, because I alternated it. So, this is just a little thing for you. You can customize the appearance. You can bring it back literally to Windows 7. It'll look exactly like except for the arrow. I really didn't like arrow anyway. Why glass? I don't want to see, like, it got so annoying because I had Windows all over here, and I would, okay, it looks like it does. But it isn't like completely clear or anything. And then all those like 3D reflections and stuff. It's really simple. It's nice. I like that because it like, reminds me I actually upgraded. Uh, there's lots of settings here. Lots for like just like a dollar fifty cents if you got one copy. Because um, I'm gonna give my copy to my sister, so it makes her life easier. But this is great. It's like so simplified. You can have this on the fly. It's you feel as if if you disable this thing and the other th the uh this thing because you can disable it. You can make it as if you have Windows 7. I don't see why you would complain about upgrading after that because it has more features than Windows 7. It doesn't really take away any features. It just hides them without this thing. Now you have it. You have Control Panel. You can uninstall. Bam. You've also got yours. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we got image config. Oh, we got all those programs. We can turn off, put down all that stuff, all the things you had here before. Computer, we got computers, fancy new stuff. We got, yeah, of course, you can click on yourself. You can change your settings. You can, now to change settings, it doesn't work through here anymore. It's a little bit different. That's because this isn't part of the program. This is part of Windows, and that's how they made it. Instead, you have to go into this area and then you will be able to click cut personalize count picture and then you'll be able to change your picture you can't do it through here I kinda messed up by doing that making a password picture that way whoops 
So uh, it took me some time to figure that out. Also, you can't go to the, you can't click it to go back home. You have to do Control D, or you can cycle through the Alt Tab, or you go through the stuff, or you can also now do Windows Tab in order to see the different tasks that are available. Now these go through apps rather than Windows like this does. So they're like two separate things. It's also neat about this is that you can right click on that. You can see all the types of things like here. And you can also close the program. So say I went into the games. Either you can drag them here, which the new closing may like way do it. Or you can go to here and you can say right click and close PC settings. I'd have to go out of this, I have to do it and close. So it's, it's really, really smooth. And I'll go ahead and minimize that. Oops. So, and it runs a lot better than Windows 7, which is surprising. It takes up less RAM. It's got a really cool interface for its task manager. This is what we're going to see at first. Just click the more details, and it'll take you to the new windows and stuff, fancy bars, stuff like that. It's a really nice upgrade. It's just that you have to learn how to use it, and you got to make sure you download this thing so you can actually get it back. Now... Windows 8.1 is going to include something like this, but it's not going to be the exact same thing. It's not going to be what you're used to. It's going to be different. But this brings it back to originality. Everything works perfectly. Haven't had any problems yet. And hopefully you don't have any problems either upgrading to Windows 8. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.